This may be the home of the Calgary Flames for just a couple of more years. A tentative deal has been struck between the city and the Flames organization for a new arena. Now, it's been a long process to get here. If you remember, talks fell apart back in 2017. And at the time, there was a threat that the club would leave. Brian Burke, who was the president of hockey operations for the club at that time, said that without a new arena, the club could definitely leave. And Ken King said that that was a possibility. So now the negotiating team seems to have found some kind of satisfactory proposal, which will go to council on Monday. But the really big question is, for this $600 million project, where does this fit into city council's budget? Tom Ross takes a look. How do you justify putting uh, possibly public money into an arena, but then at the same time cutting real essential services like police and fire and specialized transit? What a great question to be addressed if that is actually what is happening on Monday. As the city of Calgary looks to cut $60 million from its budget to help businesses crippled by tax hikes, we're now learning an agreement may have been reached on a new arena. The price tag for a replacement to the Saddle Dome as much as $600 million. But right now, no one is saying how much of that would be footed by taxpayers in this tentative agreement. That proposal will go to council on Monday afternoon. However, the meeting will be behind closed doors. And at the same time, councillors continue to wrestle with how to slash the budget. It is absolutely necessary for us to be able to protect those small businesses who, through no fault of their own, have seen these massive tax increases that in some cases are putting their viability, their survival at risk. It's also important to remember that we saw it coming, that City Council had many, 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 many options before them that would not have led to such drastic action. Some of the possible targets include essential services like police and fire, as well as transit, including services for disabled people. What we don't know is how councillors will square the two issues, which seem in direct opposition, making deep service cuts while agreeing to a new multi-million dollar arena. In times of limited uh, public budgets, it's got to be a good deal for Calgary. And it's got to have that public benefit. So that is ultimately the criteria on which I would evaluate any proposed deal. More details may come to light after Monday's meeting, though Nenshi believes there's a chance a deal could be accepted or rejected before their summer break. We have contacted several councillors but have yet to receive comment. In Calgary, Tom Ross, City News.